Today we have two wheels on Autogefühl with the specialized Turbo Levo FSR 6 Fatty BMW X3 Edition or they also call it Specialized for BMW because this is a cooperation between the Specialized Premium Bike Manufacturer and BMW the Premium Car Manufacturer. So the day Autogefühl is a little bit of bike fuel and we will give you an in-depth view with action shots and all the components that are used here, what has BMW to do with it, also design-wise, talking about the different engines, Bro, the Yamaha and Bosch, the common engines which are used at the moment in the e-bike or pedal-like industry, and tell you everything you need to know about this alternative form of mobility or also a form of just living your passion, a hobby, EMTB, because I'm actually mountain biking for about 20 years so I got a lot to tell you about this very interesting bicycle of course as always in full HD, full screen and full length. Let's go! So I already put some dirt on the bike, but I'll soon also show you some statics where the bike was still clean that you can also enjoy this one as for the design. The color here in the blue is called Phytonic Blue and the same color is available for the all-new BMW X3. We will also link this review. Then the BMW logo is just placed behind the frame right here. The most important fact is that you got 150 millimeters of spring travel front and rear. And the suspension acts, acts really very smooth. More to the riding details when I also drive the bike and I can show you that and tell you more about how it behaves. Then Specialized uses the Brosa engine. This one reacts very spontaneously. This Brosa engine feels pretty much equal to the Bosch engine. It also reacts on high spinning turns, whereas the Yamaha motor is actually more about the low rpms therefore i usually prefer the yamaha motor because at mountain biking here on also up the hills you often have low rpms and then you really need it from the low here you have to spin a little bit more however the good thing about this is well integrated it feels light it is extremely silent and there's no like you know a step and then it sets in it sets in directly that's the good thing about this very motor Now that's how the bike looks like when it's totally clean. Well a dirt bike should have some dirt on but this one really looks amazing when it's shining. Take a look how the 504 watt hours battery is integrated in the frame. By this you can also put a drinking bottle on top like with non-battery assisted bikes. Interesting framework also around the rear shock. From the top the bike looks silver by the way. You can activate the pedal assist by pressing this button. Assisting is up to a speed of 25 km an hour. Three levels of assist are possible. You can adjust that at the battery or also at the handlebars with some buttons. But for off-road you usually go all the way with level 3. Shifting with a SRAM GX11 speed gear unit works pretty smooth and you really get enough gears together with the e-drive. RockShox Revelation RC 150mm front shock. Rear shock RockShox Monarch RT. SRAM Guide RE Brakes. Those 2.8 inch or 7.1 cm wide tires are not completely fat bike tires 
but bigger than normal so-called plus tires. Believe me, it's really good to have more traction. Coming to the most important daily routine for this bike, charging the battery. You have to use a tool, that's the disadvantage, however it is fairly easy. Unfortunately, the battery gets very dirty from the bottom and you cannot place a mud guard there. You can also directly charge it without removing it. And now let's talk about riding. Starting uphill, the Brosa motor just received a 15% power upgrade, now being at 250 Watt and 90 Newton meter of torque. As I said earlier, high spins are required to get this motor running very well, same as the Bosch motor. I can just stress again that the suspension is really my favorite, ensuring a very smooth and fun ride. Also the Fetty tires give you more grip, at the same time the specialized turbo level remains to be very agile. You can get the frame in sizes S, M, L and XL, by the way, so according to your size. By the way, as for how long the battery is holding, well, it's really okay from the capacity, you really can use it also for hardcore off-road driving, that's no problem. It's just not something for, you know, more than 100 kilometers or more than 3 hours or something like that, but two hours of off-road riding just straight, then usually you're done physically anyway and that's most of the time before the battery is totally done. Very handy for switching from up to downhill and back again is by the way the adjustable saddle post. Just use the left switch at the handlebars and the saddle lifts up immediately. Or down again. The only disadvantage, you cannot completely dismount it with a quick unlock as it is possible with other systems. Going on asphalt, the motor sets in even better. You can also very well use this bike for tarmac tours. Small saddle is surprisingly comfortable for a sporty one, by the way. And now to our conclusion for today. E-mountain biking is definitely the thing, you know, this 25 kilometers limit that is still legal, that you can go with it everywhere, because you can go to places where you aren't allowed to go with a motocross bike, for example. And you're not pushing the bike up and then rolling down, you can drive all the time, two hours right through, you have a good sustainable training, because, you know, it's still exhausting, but you do not have the high peaks in your heart, so you really can do everything the next day and you're not totally exhausted but still have a very good sustainable training so to me when you've done it once you always want to do it this bike also good transition if you come from a non-assistant bike because it's feeling very light and very agile that's i think the main characteristic and of course corporation bmw and specialized those two brands fit well together it's a great design for sure i love the blue matching design, also the integrated motor. From the power characteristics, I do still prefer the Yamaha motor, but this one still a very good one because it's also very silent, very light, spontaneous reaction, so you will definitely have a lot of fun with it. Tires, the bigger the better in my opinion. I do prefer fat bikes from the tires, however, here you can get more spring travel. Fat bikes are usually not available yet, yet with a lot of spring travel. And so this is also a very good compromise. I would like to hear your feedback for sure. If you want to see more, also two wheel reviews. We had electric motorcycle reviews today in electric mountain bike. Tell me in your comments if you want to see more of that. And of course, tune in our to our car reviews. Thank you so much for watching.